Today, our youth are being brought up in a culture that is becoming more and more corrupt, more rebellious and more angry. Violence, crime and death are rising at alarming rates. Our young people are growing up in a perverse, profane and unholy environment. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Joshua Revolution presents The Standard, Jesus Christ and the Cross of Calvary. Coming December 27th to the 29th, Joshua Revolution 21, You Are Holy, the youth and family conference geared for the whole church. Special communicators include former Major League Baseball star Daryl Strawberry. Jesus' purpose, is, Jesus purpose for all of us is that we have peace. Peace. You can only have peace when you're with him because he says, my peace that surpasses all understanding. And we must never forget that. He didn't say some fall short. He says all have fallen short. He didn't say some of us was just sinners. He says we're all sinners that's saved by grace. And we need to remember that somebody else needs to know that God loves them no matter what has happened. Come and hear the powerful resurrection story of John Smith, whose miracle inspired the movie Breakthrough. He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's gonna be a recovery, not a rescue. I got something. We got him! We've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. No. Please, God, send your Holy Spirit to save my son. A 14-year-old St. Charles boy who spent 15 minutes trapped underwater is continuing to fight for his life. I don't believe John will survive the night. You don't know my son. He is a fighter. So I need you to be the best for John, and you just let God do the rest. You are my pride and joy. I can't wait to see you shoot those baskets and run up and down the court again. The Smith family asked for one thing. Please pray for John. In the water that day, I was ready to give up. But then I hear this voice telling me, go back. Either I'm nuts or God's talking to you. But I don't believe in God. I believe, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Did you see the Facebook page? It's gone viral. Call me. I hope he's going to be okay. We're not going to get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, And Graham Lott. Can I ask you, when have you come to the cross in humility as a little child, confessing your sin, telling God you're sorry, believing Jesus died for you, if nobody else needed a Savior, you did, asking Him to forgive you and to cleanse you with the blood of the Lamb? When did you open up your heart and invite Jesus to come live inside of you as your Lord? taking over control and the authority of your life. I have to remind myself of it because so often I just want people to come to faith so bad. I want the people to be discipled in their faith. I want them to grow up in their faith. And I want it so bad that I find that I start taking on responsibility myself. Instead of just praying before I speak, praying first thing in the morning before I go out for my day, Pray before you go to the office. Pray before you do whatever you do and ask the Holy Spirit to hover over the hearts and minds of the people who will be hearing what you're saying and listening to your radio, watching your TV, reading the books and the magazines and asking the Holy Spirit to prepare them to receive the word and be transformed. And Pam Stenzel. But one of the reasons why I believe in being tough is this, and I'll tell you what, high school was rough. But I can stand before you today and say that I have a 22 year old amazing young woman who I can now say is my friend at 22. And I can promise you that if I had been her friend at 15, she would not be my friend at 22. I was willing to go through the pain. And at the end of the day, parents, can I say this to you? I will never stand before God and answer for what my children choose to do. I will stand before God and answer for what I did that I actually think sex involves your heart and involves your soul. And there isn't a condom in the world that will ever protect your soul. It's not a game, it's not a recreational sport, it's not hooking up, it's not friends with benefits.
not all those things that MTV has told you it is. It is the most amazing gift of self and intimacy you will ever give someone. And when it becomes a game and a recreational sport, it will forever lose its ability to mean, I really love you. Joshua Revolution 21 is a conference that will raise God's standard of holiness for our youth, families, and for the whole church. Joshua Revolution 21 will lead every young person and adult right into the life-changing presence of God. Worship artists include Charity Gale. You took my place, laid inside my tomb of sin. You were buried for three days, but then you walked right out again. Aaron. Oh, come on, choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve you, Lord. We will serve you, Lord. We will serve you, Lord. For you are and the Joshua Revolution Band. Joshua Revolution 21, coming December 27th to the 29th, 2021 to Bayfront Convention Center in Erie, Pennsylvania. This God Encounter Youth and Family Conference is for the whole church and is free for everyone, but registration is required. To reserve your free tickets for this life-changing event, go to joshuarevolution.org. At Joshua Revolution 21, God will change your life forever.